And this is a Fox News alert. Attorney General Eric Holder has announced that the Department of Justice will open a civil rights investigation into the death of Eric Garner. Take a listen. This afternoon, I spoke with the widow of Eric Garner to inform her and her family of our decision to investigate potential federal civil rights violations. I've also been in touch with President Obama as well as Mayor de Blasio regarding our decision. Our prosecutors will conduct an independent, thorough, fair, and expeditious investigation. All right, let's get this straight. So Holder's going to investigate this case in which the grand jury has clearly made its decision, but when it comes to the violence in Ferguson, Missouri, well, he won't look into Michael Brown's stepfather for saying this. Oh, and while we're talking about Ferguson, what about the arsonists and the looters that destroyed dozens of local businesses? Why isn't he bringing them to justice? Joining me now with Reaction, the author of Injustice, exposing the racial agenda of the Obama Justice Department, former DOJ official Jay Christian Adams. Uh, welcome back. So we have Ferguson. We have Trayvon Martin. Now we have this case. It seems that every time Eric Holder's Justice Department doesn't like a decision, they say, well, we're going to have a civil rights investigation. But isn't, isn't that a second bite at the apple? And isn't that a much higher bar and standard beyond, for example, probable cause in a grand jury? Well, Sean, of course, under federal law, you can have uh, separate sovereigns prosecuting the same act. You can have a federal civil rights charge after a state declines to prosecute. But what's really going on here is an enormous hostility toward the police by this Justice Department, by Eric Holder prejudging the facts of Ferguson, by police misconduct, Sean, in a case against New Orleans police officers, by Justice Department lawyers who will be investigating in New York and in Ferguson, they were found to have lied to a federal judge to rig the case against cops. So this is a Justice Department that has enormous hostility against the police. Yeah, and they're going to move forward. Now, let's talk about the standards or the bar that has to be met. Uh, you have to prove that somebody, in this case a police officer in Ferguson, a police officer, intentionally tried to violate the civil rights of the individual involved. How do you prove that? Well, that's going to be tough in Ferguson, I can tell you that, when the police officer was in fear of his life. In New York, they're going to have to show that there was a conspiracy to violate civil rights, that those cops made an instantaneous decision to stop this guy from enjoying his civil right to stand on a sidewalk. That might be very hard to do, too. They don't have to prove a racial intent. They can do it by showing a conspiracy to deprive civil rights. But there's yeah. going to be all sorts of rebuttal evidence, and that's what makes this case right. so hard. What's so frustrating here is there's so many people that are out there, a lot of chanting going on uh, in New York. For example, FTP, blank the police, uh, Black Lives Matter, people united will never be defeated, no justice, no peace. Well, we, what do we want? Justice. When do we want it now? Hands up, don't shoot. Yeah. And I can't breathe. That's what they're saying. Now, Mayor of New York City, Comrade de Blasio, went out there today. <laughs> Sorry, that's his name. And he actually said, we're dealing with century of racism. Can you, I want you to respond to this when you hear this. We're not just dealing with a problem in 2014. We're not dealing with years of racism leading up to it or decades of racism. We are, leading, we are dealing with centuries of racism that have brought us to this day. That is how profound the crisis is. Now, in Ferguson, black eyewitnesses, one after the other, said that, in fact, Michael Brown charged Officer Darren Wilson, so he didn't have his hands up. They said he charged like a football player with his head down, one eyewitness said. In this case, de Blasio was saying that, you know, what we're dealing with here is centuries of racism. Is there any evidence of racism in this case that you see? No, but, Sean, that doesn't matter. We've entered an era when truth doesn't matter. There's something bigger going on here. These are attempts to delegitimize the system, the system of justice in this country, in America, by invoking this history that is way in the rearview mirror. These are folks who want to always blame law and order, the police. They're always on the side of the lawless. It's a bigger battle than just what happened in Ferguson. It's an effort to delegitimize the American system of justice. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jay Christian. I appreciate your time tonight. We have a lot.